Hey, how's it going guys? Zerai here. So today I wanted to kind of bring in of the expecting of the features that we should see in The Last of Us Part 2 remastered for the PlayStation 5. Now this basically is coming sometime soon. We do not know when, perhaps maybe we'll hear something about it from the Game Awards, maybe even earlier. We do not know. But there are a few things and a little bit of concerns as well includes that, you know, well, how much will this cost? When, in fact, a better question yet, do we actually even need this remaster? Because mind you, the game came out in 2020. <laughs> it's just insane to think about it. Three years ago, and yet we still do not know anything related towards the next project from Naughty Dog, at least in terms of the confirmation, like a proper, proper confirmation of the name and everything like that. Now, we do know that they are working out some things. For example, well, something, perhaps maybe it's The Last of Us Part 3 or perhaps a new IP, uh, because their multiplayer game, a standalone multiplayer game, well, it's a nice, unfortunately. It has not yet been cancelled, and perhaps that's a good thing, but we do not know if, if it ever will see the light of day. So, I want to touch on some of the more or less bullet points regarding what to expect from The Last of Us Part 2. I have a little bit of summarized, you know, summarized it a little bit, and typical things, kind of maybe a little bit, kind of, well, expecting things that we should definitely see from here as well. Now, I want to straight up say do not expect something drastic, on, for example, like an included. Uh, like an expansion or DLC with The Last of Us Part 2. You should not expect this. But, for example, features like 4K VRR support, yes, the PlayStation 5 DualSense support, 3D audio support with the Tempest, uh, you know, it's going to be there, right? Ultra-wide monitor support, assuming, of course, it probably will be, well, on PC only. It's possible we could see it on PlayStation 5 as well. Improved loading times, obviously, due to the PlayStation 5, uh, the SSD. Uh, weapons and character of the skins that we can definitely expect to see something in terms of this as well and uh, You know perhaps maybe some sort of an improvements and an enhancements and or like you know add-ons towards the photo mode uh, For the people that care about this sort of st stuff as well new NPC interactions such as that Gustavo Santaolalla He well basically seemingly confirmed that he may be present within this well remaster and you can actually uh, you know, well, that what he said, you'll be able to interact with his in-game model in J Jackson to make him play certain tracks out of the request. And when he does so, you can listen to some of his tunes. And then there's obviously going to be a little bit of something, maybe, I don't know, director's commentary. Uh, there's definitely going to be new accessibility options, even though The Last of Us Part 2 was already fantastic in terms of the accessibility options. And I assume, of course, we can definitely expect something like a speedrun mode. Uh, but nevertheless, these kind of things are it. I don't know if it's going to be warranting the price, and a lot of people would expect it to be something like a brand new game on, on the PlayStation 5 and PC, a $50 price tag. And of course, if you have already a PS4 version of it, hopefully they will include an upgrade path for, you know, if you pay an additional $10 on top. Yeah, well, of course, it would be best thing to do is just have a completely free upgrade, right? That would be the best and awesome consumer-friendly move. But, you know, being how PlayStation has been as of recently, well... You know, I do not expect them to do this, at least not yet. And sort of stuff that I mentioned, that's kind of a, well, expected things that we should see in the, uh, the last part two remastered. And a lot of people, uh, like I said, will argue and say, is this really worth it? You know, of all these stuff. Personally, for me, I think they should have like changed around a few story tidbits moments. For example, the order that you play as in terms of Ellie, Abby, and of course, Joel. Like, I think there needs to be a better way that they can t tell the story. But I believe that might be a little bit of a very quite a big task for them to just simply kind of redevelop and kind of shuffle things around a little bit. Like don't remove anything, don't add in new things because I don't expect them, them to. It's kind of even really bad to say this because, right, I'm not expecting them to do anything in terms of the add-ons. Because, well, after The Last of Us Part 1, being a $70 price tag of a game, completely non-changed things other than improvement in visuals. That's really was it, if you really think about it. But of course, it was not as scummy as, for example, like Rockstar did it, in terms of the Red Dead Redemption port. That was like a $50 price tag, and yet it was just a simple port. But then after a few months, uh, they finally released the 60 FPS patch, so it's like, oh, finally, it's just actually a better product, like now it is for you to experience and play. Still kind of wondering why the hell did it take so long to do this, this uh, include this sort of a patch. 
But yeah, nevertheless, I am worried that uh, it's just these are all going to be the features that will include for The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. Personally, I think that they should have done a little bit more with this. Uh, of course, I'm talking about including an additional tidbits of like DLC, a sort of a little bit of an expansion or something like that. Uh, hell, please just bring back the original factions mode into The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. So that at least we will have some kind of a multiplayer experience for longevity's sake and of course the replayability value as well. But I just don't expect them to bring it back unfortunately because my expectations are low. Even though the game is brilliant, I think it's an incredible experience. And uh, it's just it still is you play it kind of sort of game and you kind of forget it. <laughs> but yeah, as if it wasn't already been done like this before in other terms of other single player games. For example, like Horizon games, uh, Days Gone, uh, God of War included. Right, You play them, you finish them, you never kind of come back to it. Sometimes occasionally some people would. Uh, my case i would come back only for the platinum trophy but when i'm done like say i got the platinum i noticed that i never come back to a certain game unless i absolutely love them and the only game i do this to well you know coming back replaying it multiple times a little too many times dozens of times even and well it's my favorite game of all time i will leave down links below in the description for you to check it out what is my favorite game of all time all right, well, that's all I got. That's all I got for today. Do let me know what you think about this kind of a direction that perhaps they'll be going with. It's genuinely is unfortunate, but oh well. All right, guys, like and subscribe. See you guys all, and uh, yeah, have a wonderful day.